Hello, I'm Dr. Memona and I'm a consultant obstetrician working at Fernandez Hospitals. Having a scan is an exciting and happy event, but one must be aware of the reason for the scan and that at times serious conditions can be detected. I'm here with you today to shed some light and share my opinion with you on the frequently asked questions about scans in pregnancy. The very first scan in pregnancy is the early pregnancy scan or the viability scan. This confirms the pregnancy, its position in the uterus, number of babies, confirms the due date as per the baby size and of course the heartbeat. If periods are regular and there are no other complications such as pain in abdomen or bleeding, then one can directly go for the NT scan. The nuchal translucency scan or the NT scan is done in the third month of pregnancy and is an important landmark for the baby. Here, we survey the early formation of the baby and also calculate the risk of the baby for having chromosomal abnormalities such as Down syndrome. We do this by using a combination of ultrasound markers and the mother's blood test called the double marker. The TIFA scan or the fetal anatomy scan is the next important landmark for the baby. This is done at the fifth month of the pregnancy. So by now the baby is completely formed and beyond this just has to grow. So this is a scan where we look at all the parts and organ system of the baby in detail to rule out any defects. If any abnormality is detected at TIFA or NT scan that is suggestive of a chromosomal abnormality, then further confirmation has to be done in the form of diagnostic tests such as amniocentesis. The growth scan, as the name suggests, is to check the baby's growth. So we take a measurements of baby's head, the abdomen and the thigh bone and use it to calculate the baby's weight. Along with this, we also measure the amniotic fluid and if the baby's growth is coming less, then we also check for the blood flows known as a Doppler study. As per recommendation, if all is going well in the pregnancy, then only one such scan is needed in the 8th or 9th month. But the timing and frequency of this scan is to be decided by the treating obstetrician based on the clinical situation. If any growth abnormalities are detected, or if the mother has any medical complications such as diabetes in pregnancy, then these will be needed more frequently. Now there are certain points to highlight when it comes to scanning. Firstly, all scans are safe, painless and have no side effects on the mother or her baby. An important thing that we need to remember is that scans are not 100% accurate and that certain abnormalities cannot be detected on scan. Scans for example cannot determine function of all organs and thus cannot detect abnormalities such as hearing defects or abnormalities in brain function nor can they predict autism spectrum disorders. And last but not the least, in India, as per law, sex of the baby will not be revealed during any scan, so please do not ask either directly or indirectly. Being able to scan the baby is a privilege as it opens a window to the baby's amazing world. And seeing their baby live in action on the screen brings such a look of wonder and joy on the parents' faces that never fails to warm my heart or add a spark to my day. I hope this gives you all an overview of the scans done during pregnancy. Do comment or message us if you have any other queries. Thank you.